Welcome to this video where I show how to extract flow data from the USGS or the US Geological Survey site. This is flow data for the Buffalo River at St. Joe. Uh, I'm using the spider editor in Anaconda in order to, to do this. And the first thing that I wanted to do is actually just show you the website. So this is the, the site that I'm going to. One thing that I did want to show is that we have a beginning date and also an end date. And I'll have to scroll over a little bit so you can see the entire end date. And what I'm going to be extracting is the date. So again, this is uh, Buffalo River at St. Joe and it is flow data. So we're going to extract the date and then we're also going to extract the flow values. Now, in order to do this, I have to do an import request and request just allows you to send HTTP request using Python. Um, I also import uh, beautiful soup. I use the beautiful soup library. And what this does, it allows me to pull data out of HTML files. Since I am going to be extracting the dates and the flow values, I start out by making two empty lists. So vowels date is an empty list, and that's obviously going to be for the date. And then vowels is going to be for the flow values. Here I put in the site that we're accessing, and the site is long. I just did a copy and paste. And remember, you have your beginning date and your end date. So within the program, you can go change that if you want to get uh, a different time period. So here we go and we get that, that site and then we use beautiful soup using this command. We use beautiful soup in order to parse the data. Now, when we do this dot text command, we are making this into a readable text. Now, since we want to go pull something off line by line, we also want to use the split lines command. And that does exactly what you, you would think it does. It actually splits each line at the line break. And so now what we, we have the capability of doing is reading the data from that website and also reading each individual line. So now what I want to do is I want to pick the lines that I want to read from. And here you can see for line in lines uh, 30 through 396. And what that is basically telling Python is, where to start and where to end. And we can go back to the website. And you can see that there's quite a bit of stuff up top of the data. And so I don't want to be extracting stuff from there. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that it starts here on this line and then ends at the last data point. And you might need to do a little bit of experimenting uh, to get those numbers correct. But um, once you get them correct, then you can pull off just the data that you want. Now that I'm reading each individual line, I can pull off data from each individual line. So my temp date is going to be um, in 13 through 24. And again, you may have to experiment with that a little bit in order to get that right. So one thing that you might want to do is just put in one through a hundred and then keep moving the left side and the right side in until you're actually extracting what you want. But in this case, uh, I found that 13 through 24 gave me this data. And then I also needed to get the flow data. And one thing about the flow data is that it can be of different uh, size. I think all the dates were a standard length, but the flow data was a different size. Here you can see that you have 76.8, but here you have 28,000. So make sure you use a range that's big enough to capture the, the largest number that you have. And then you can always strip out any white space. So that's why this is for the date. And then this is for the, uh, the flow data. And then we just strip out any other space. Um, here I'm actually printing the temp date and the temp one. That was just a check. You can get rid of that once you know that the program is working correctly. And then now all I'm doing is uh, for each line, I'm extracting the date and the flow value, but I want to now append that to these lists. Um, so I'm appending to vowels date and I'm appending to vowels. Um, 
After you do that, you can then actually write it out to a text file. And in this case, I just uh, put something on my C drive, data extraction, St. Joe flow.txt. And what I'm doing is I, I do this for a B and zips, vowels, date, vowels. And so now it's going to read the entire list of vowels, date, vowels, but on each individual line, it's going to first write the date and then it's going to have put a space and then it's going to write the flow. And then I, I just put in this slash n in order to make sure that it jumps down to the next line after it writes the date and flow. So uh, I guess the next step in this is to run it and make sure that it works okay. And you can see that um, this is the console over here that uh, is giving me the, the data and that's coming from this print statement here. So th this is a good check. We can also go look at the text file. So I'll open up the text file and here you can see that you are getting the date and then you have the space and then the flow data and it looks like that it gave it to me for the entire year so it looks like that that this is working correctly so i hope you enjoyed this video um, if you want to know when more videos are coming out feel free to subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching this one